Right, so the next thing that we're making is a uh, cheese ball. And Obsessed with cheese balls. Yeah, you know, I, I've done a lot in my career to try to be uh, taken seriously as a chef. Right. And so a cheese ball is not really something that's helping me toward <laughs> that, that uh, finish line. But, I think um, you're doing all right. The Peabody Award, first time since Julia Child. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, a Beard Award. You know, the truth is, at a party, you know, you can have all kinds of hors d'oeuvres out, but people congregate around they, a cheese exactly. ball, and it's the first thing gone, so haters are going to hate, but... Get uh, over it. Yes. Get over it. Don't look. Close your eyes. So okay. th this one has um, blue cheese, and I'm a big fan of blue cheese, but a lot of people don't like it, so I, I choose to cut it with some goat cheese here, a fresh goat cheese. But that's nice. It gives it a, a nice tang and depth of flavor, too. Yeah. And then cream cheese. A cream, little cream cheese. Cream cheese is generally an ingredient in a uh, cheese ball because it's so spreadable. And then I love every cheese ball I ever make, I put butter in. Well, everything's better um, with butter yeah. and bacon. So <laughs> And bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're just going to, and everything needs to be room temperature when you do this so right, that you so can that it blends more process it. Right. So I love this salty, sweet uh, thing, as you can see over here. And I'm doing the same thing here with these chopped dates. Yum. Dates are going to add um, some sweetness to the cheese ball. And then I like the background flavor of onions. So I've got some scallions that we're going to put in there. Yeah, green onion and blue cheese, those are two things that just marry so beautifully. They love each other. They do. They do. And you know, I like to, whenever I'm talking about cheese balls, which I seem to be doing a lot. I uh, do too, I'm obsessed. <laughs> we did a whole week of them on the show once. Like really? all, all the culinary team and, and myself, we all came up with all our different cheese balls. I like to tell people, you know, you can tailor it to be whatever you want it to be. Exactly. You know? um, just have those basic. There are basic, no rules. There are no rules. It just needs to stick together at some That's point. That's right. And hot sauce, baby, you gotta hot get sauce. it out. Yeah, some. we gotta have some background heat. Yeah. And then we're just gonna process, process it, it up. blend it up. We have one here. You want to just show them how we yeah. roll it so we don't run out of time. So what we've got here is some um, uh, salt and butter roasted pecans. Yum. And that's also a chapter in the book. And because I wrote a chapter on it, I know that they're, they're called pecans and not pecans. There you go, pecans. Yeah. And then you just wanna roll mm. the cheese ball around in the pecans. And you know, if you don't mm. wanna do pecans, you could also roll it around in bacon. Or, both. or bacon and pecans. Yeah. Bacon and pecans. Exactly. Yeah. And we then just decided. We put something green on top because it makes uh, it pretty. Makes it look like it's yeah. healthier. <laughs> <laughs>